trial June 10th. Um, I can't really talk much about it, um, but I'm looking forward to my day in court. And here we are, the start of Terrence Shannon Jr.'s long-awaited criminal trial. Good evening, I'm Brandon Morano. And I'm Jennifer Roscoe. All eyes are in Kansas this week, where the former Illini star guard faces a Douglas County judge. This comes nine months after he was at the Jayhawk Cafe. He was later charged with rape, suspended from the team, sued the U of I, and was reinstated. WCI 3's Amanda Brennan is live in our newsroom. Amanda, lay out what happened in day one of the trial. Well, today was focused around jury selection. News cameras not allowed in during that part. But looking ahead to tomorrow, we can expect to hear opening statements from the prosecutors and the defense. An important thing to know is Judge Amy Hanley decided to allow third party evidence in the trial. It's a decision she made on Friday after both sides filed motions. The defense says video evidence shows Shannon was not the person next to the victim. The deputy district attorney responded saying in part, quote, the evidence in question would serve no legitimate evidentiary purpose at this trial aside from showing a third party's alleged propensity to commit, commit criminal acts. As for what you expect the rest of the week, witnesses are due in court on Wednesday afternoon. Court records show, show officers and detectives from the Lawrence Police Department and KU Department are subpoenaed. So is a nurse from Lawrence Memorial Hospital. Evidence the Kansas Bureau of Investigations is holding will also be presented in court. For a full breakdown of all of the details in this case, visit WCIA.com. Reporting in the newsroom, Amanda Brennan, WCIA 3, your local news leader. Amanda, thank you.